Hello, this is Joel, and welcome to uh, part five of my Fallout 4 exploration series. Okay, so I just finished Gorski cab uh, Cabin, and now I'm uh, I'm gonna go see what this uh, this thing on my uh, um, what was that the compass? Is that what that would be called? So I'm just heading that way, and I see a light over here. There's a light. Looks like some kind of tower. I'm gonna switch to a different weapon. I'm I'm running low on ammo of that one. I need to get a another rifle of some kind. And go with the shotgun. At least it's a rifle, so I get my damage bonuses and stuff. Takes a long time to reload. Bang! Blech. What a mess. Okay, well, uh, looks like there's a chemistry station here. <coughs> Where am I at? Let's bring up the map. Okay, so I'm straight south of Gorski Cab Cabin and a little north northeast of. Uh, uh, I think it's Walden Pond that I'm headed toward right now. Uh, let's go up here and, and loot what's left of this corpse. Pre uh, oh, okay. Wooden crate. Let's see if there's any... Is there anything? Oh, here it is. Okay. Oops. There's a wild mongrel. What's this? Settler. Just some dead bodies out here. Probably people killed by those uh, raiders. Or maybe killed by the wild mongrels over there. That I saw a second ago, but now I don't see. Here they are. Let's go get the doggies. Sure, why not? You know I can't loot mongrel dog meat. I, I can't. I can't loot dog meat. It's it's too dog meat. All right. So here I am at Walden Pond, getting rads. Um, something glowing over here. A little glowing fungus. And let's see. Automated tour. Tell you about Henry, Henry Hello, David Thoreau. And welcome to Walden Pond. You are now standing in front of the cabin inhabited by transcendentalist writer and philosopher Henry David Thoreau, starting in the summer of 1845. Fun, fun, fun. For two years, two months, and two days, Thoreau lived in this cabin hoping to gain a more objective understanding of society. I, I don't understand how you get a more objective understanding of society. This experiment was influenced by Thoreau's interest in transcendentalist philosophy, which believed that people were at their best when truly self-reliant. How do you get a better idea of society by being away by from it? By living off the land with few material possessions, Thoreau proved it skeptical to think that any outward improvement of life could bring inner peace and contentment. Okay. For more information, hmm. please visit the gift shop and purchase one of the many books on Transcendentalism. Also available, t-shirts, copy mugs, toys, and many other items to commemorate your trip. That's funny. Thank you for visiting Walden Pond, <laughs> sponsored by General Atomics, maker of the Mr. Handy Robotic Assistant. So that's awesome. You got this place who's dedicated, dedicated to the memory of... Uh, Henry David Thoreau, who was a transcendentalist philosopher and writer, and he said, you need to be self-reliant and not have a bunch of material possessions. So, thanks for visiting, and by the way, go buy some material possessions up in the gift shop, and...
By the way, we're sponsored by the makers of Mr. Handy, so who will make sure that you don't have to be self-reliant at all because it's a robot that'll do everything for you. That's awesome. I wonder, you know, see that I, I like that kind of humor. That that tickles me. Um, okay, so let's come in here. Globes have a screw in them. Looks like we got some bombs. One bomb. Two bombs. Three bombs. And... Got a cap stash. Note to Tweez. If you're reading this, then you're an idiot. This is the last time I tell you we're locking this door. Use the entrance in the sewer pipe. Next time you forget, I'm locking your ass out permanently, Walter. Okay. Take a combat knife. Uh, master, I, um, I don't have any, you know. I, I still haven't found any bobby pins. No, I, I don't think. Anyway, but, okay, so let's go in. Let's go in through the sewer like he suggested. I'll come back up here and loot it, everything after I finish. Uh, oh, one other thing I just want to show you real quick. Um, don't go over here. And the reason you don't want to go over here is because... There's a behemoth over here. And it's big, and it's mean, and it will hit you with something really, really large. So, don't go that way. Unless you're ready to fight a behemoth. Alright, and the sewer pipe is here. Drainage pipe. And there's some aluminum cans, another junk. That way to the left is blocked, so we're going to the right. So this guy made sure he had everything he needed before we started his camping trip in that little shack up top. Double checked his list and everything. That's why they call it being the goat. Ah! And this guy invented trans uh <laughs> transol trains dentalism, moron. You sound like an idiot. You know all this. I read a book that one time when we ran out of grog mags. I wish I could read. I read a book that one time. That's that's nice. He uh, he was prepared. He had everything he needed. That's what's called being thorough. So he the guy read enough to be uh, to be able to write bad puns. That's that's fun. So where'd the other guy go? There he is. Mm. And boom. Bang. Bang. Yay. Okay. There is a short hunting rifle, short pipe rifle. Um, inventory, short pipe rifle. Oh, it uses 38 ammo. Okay, cool. I'm going to switch to that. It's the kind of ammo I got a ton of. And, uh, by the way, um, the one major important piece of loot here, Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor, permanently gain better prices when buying from a vendor, why I sold my mother. So, there's a magazine right there. Come on out. No sign of a man. Nice and quick. And you can trust me. Do, 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 do. Ew. No. Don't you die on me. One more person. And I believe that's everybody gift shop key. Okay, the gift shop key opens two things. It opens this so if you don't have master lock picking. And it also opens the door to get into the gift shop from, from down here. Um, let's see. I, I think 
There's one more important piece of loot in here. Uh, here it is. Big Jim, the legendary pipe wrench. That's right. Nice. Legendary pipe wrench. 20% chance to cripple the target's leg. So there we go. And, uh, I'll take lunch box. Okay, well, um, so that's all of the massively cool stuff down here. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I uh, appreciate it. And, uh, I will talk at you again soon. Peace.